All right, guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the three habits of successful sales professionals. There's a lot of habits that you can build, but I'm gonna share with you the three that I have found so far that really helps drive value to what you do, helps you close more sales, really get you dialed in to be a phenomenal sales professional. So here are the three habits. One is protecting your physical energy, actually protecting your energy. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about decreasing, number two, decreasing mental fatigue. Really important, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, so we're gonna dive in there. And thirdly, we're gonna talk about being in a habit of consistently learning, constantly learning. So those are the, the three things. So let's dive into the first one and that is protecting your physical energy. Sales calls and working with prospects, helping them really find solutions to their problems is very mentally taxing. It really does require a lot of energy to show up powerfully on a call, ask the right questions, have the energy needed to hold that authority, hold that space. It takes a lot of energy. So you need to be very careful on what you're doing to protect your physical energy. Things like being protective of your sleep, getting sleep. There's a lot of people that, that sell that don't take care of their sleep and it affects them. Energy drinks can only take you so far. Actually protecting your sleep, getting the sleep that you need makes a world of difference, makes you mentally sharper. So a couple of things I look at when I'm looking to protect my sleep is one, getting on a routine with sleep, get something pretty consistent. There's a lot of guys that some will stay up till two o'clock in the morning, wake up at 10 a.m. one morning and they'll wake, go to bed at 9 p.m. one night and it's all over the, the place. Do the best you can to really have a consistent flow. Going to bed, waking up, going to bed, waking up, getting in that circadian rhythm, training your body. This is the time we fall asleep, this is the time that we wake up. You're gonna be much more consistent with having sleep and energy levels if you do that. Also, consider getting blue light blocking glasses. That's something that I actually use from time to time because I'm looking at when I'm at, at the, in the evenings at nighttime, do I have any blue light that is shining on my eyes, shining on my body from computer screens, cell phones, TV? These are things I'm looking at. I don't even have a TV in my bedroom because when I'm going to bed, I want it to be dark, I want it to be quiet, and I want it to be cool so I can get enough sleep. So really think about that. If you're watching TV, you're stuck on your phone, late at night before you go to bed, it's gonna be more difficult for your body to go to sleep. So be mindful of that. Let's talk about diet. Diet is so important. Eating the right foods to fuel your body, and that may sound cliche, but there's a lot of salespeople that do not take care of their body, and it shows in their energy. It's super important. So really take a hard look at what you're, what you're eating. What are, you, what are you drinking? Alcohol, it kills energy. What are you doing to feed your body that could be taken away from energy? Like really take a hard look at that, getting the right carbs, fats, proteins. Really think about what are you putting in your body to give you the energy that you actually need in addition to energy drinks, okay? So sleep, we talked about diet. And when it comes to body, truly building a strong body really helps your mental edge training, going to a weight room, like actually building muscle, you know, not only is helpful for body composition, but it really does help in the sales arena by giving you that edge of getting your metabolism up, building that, building that muscle, just gets your body prepped in a position for winning. Understand that. Building muscle puts your body and your mind in a position for winning. So keep that in mind. So that's the things that I do to protect my physical energy. So that's the first part. The second piece is decreasing mental fatigue. And again, on a sales call, there are a lot of areas where you have to think, you have to dive in and get to understand your prospects. So mentally, it takes a lot of energy, not only physical energy, but mental energy as well. So think about how can you decrease mental fatigue and some of the decisions that you have to make every single day. Like for an example, what to wear, do you have this, elaborate wardrobe where you have to sit and decide for five minutes what you want to wear for, for the day, or you have a pretty simple wardrobe where you can just kind of pick out two things, throw it on, and go. Again, decreasing mental fatigue. Same thing with food. You can organize the way that you order food and, and eat. Like for the most part, I do a lot of meal prep or I will buy 
already prepped meals. That's what I mostly do, because it's simple, it's easy, I don't have to think about it. I can just grab the food, cook it, or heat it up, whatever, and I'm good to go. I don't have to think about what ingredients do I have to buy, how do I prep for this, how do I plan for this, I have it there. I keep it very simple so that I can focus my mental energy on the sales call. And also, when it comes to mental fatigue, really ask yourself, is there anything that is draining my mental energy? We see this a lot at Wake Up Wealthy. We have a lot of clients that have a lot on, on their mind and have things that perhaps it's like a conversation with someone that they're avoiding. And these tasks, these conversations that you're avoiding, it drains your mental energy. It's like an energy faucet. And these small things add up and it just drips like a faucet. And the more it drips, 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 the more it takes away from your mental energy. So really ask yourself, honestly, is there anything right now that's draining my mental energy that's causing additional fatigue that I do not need? And how can I get rid of it? So that's the second thing. The third thing is, the third thing is being committed to consistent, constant learning. There's a lot of closers that once they get in the once they get in the swing of things, they're getting really good at what they do. They just show up to calls, not go some sales, and they're not really learning anything new. Inside of work, outside of work, they're not learning anything. When you are not growing, you are dying. If you are not growing, you are dying. So think about that from a mental standpoint. Even now, I'm always committed to learning more and more and more. It makes me ask more questions. It makes me think bigger, makes me think deeper constantly. And because I'm learning more and more and more, it well equips me to be a good closer because I'm asking a lot of questions. I'm always curious, I'm always curious. It's very easy to get in this loophole where if you're good at sales, then you can get kind of cocky and arrogant a little bit and just say, I already know what this person's problem is. And you could start losing deals because you've lost that sense of curiosity and, and knowing how to ask questions rather than just making assumptions. So always learning, committing yourself to further education and whatever it is will help you in sales. Will help you in sales. So this could be anything, reading more books constantly. A lot of good closers that I know, they read a lot. I read a lot. Maybe look at enrolling in a new course, new coaching program, new training program, whatever it is. Like right now, I invested in a boxing coach, so I'm learning how to box. Does this help me in sales? It absolutely does help me in sales. It's keeping my mind sharp and me fresh so that I can ask good questions and truly be alive and available to serve someone powerfully on a sales call. So those are the three habits that if you master those, you're gonna be really good at sales. Protect your energy, decrease mental fatigue, and stay committed to constant learning. So if this content was valuable to you, like this video right now on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram at brandon.gift. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I am accessible. All right, guys, talk to you later.